Hello everyone, this is Tyler with Diesel Laptops. In this video, I'm gonna go through and show you what to do once you're connected to the vehicle and, and how all these menus kind of work together. So let's just start out by saying we're already connected to a vehicle. I'm actually connected to one sitting here on our bench. It's a Cummins, it's an older one. And we'll show you kind of what the commands work and how to navigate through this. So first of all, on your uh, parameter screen, and you know what, no matter what you're connected to, all these are going to look the same. So whether it's a Volvo, an ABS, a Transmission, an International, a Cummins, that's the beauty of this system is everything looks alike. So as we're connected to this vehicle here in J1708 mode, you'll see that it shows 13 different parameters that are available to this particular one. And again, this is an older ECU. Um, newer ones, they'll be up, you know, I've seen much as like 155 or 175 different parameters uh, available to connect to and, and show you what's going on with it. So let's click over here to fault codes and we're actually going to be doing, uh, we'll do another quick little video more on fault codes and how to look them up and everything. But for now, I want you just to realize that here's where all the codes are. There's a bunch of different symbols that will light up down here. So over on the right, you see a question mark and you see the one with like the uh, diodes in it. And then there's a bunch of variety of different ones. So like the one down here actually has a different question mark. It's got them with a question mark with a bubble around it. So question marks with bubbles around it are good. If I click that button, you'll see it'll just tell you a little bit more about the code and what's going on with it. Uh, the Every single one's gonna have this other question mark, this one right here. And that question mark is a new feature they just added to the system. And what it's gonna be is it's gonna be more advanced repair information plus the ability to get with Texa for troubleshooting help. So right now, everybody that clicks this button is going to get nothing except user not subscribed because there is nothing to subscribe to yet. There is just solely a button that was put in the program, uh, kind of like their phase one. In the next couple months, you'll be seeing more of that and you'll be able to actually get some more help. Uh, some of the other buttons that light up, this is a good example here. This is your fuel supply pressure sensor circuit and it's saying, hey, I got some wiring diagram help for you on that one. I'll click the little button down here and it'll say, well, what engine do you have? We'll just pick and say we have this one. And it'll pull it up, a wiring diagram, and it'll be flashing the exact area that it is. Uh, it give you some a little bit more advanced help that way as well. So I'm gonna click the little back arrow up here to go back, and I'm back to my menu. All right, so again, we'll have another whole video on all the repair information that you can watch to get a little more help. Uh, oh, the other thing, you double click the code, It'll give you the actual OEM flash code, and it'll also give you the PID and the FMI, and we'll cover more of that in the other video. So hit confirm to go back. Now I'm at the spot here, status. This will tell you the status of different things. Is my brake pedal on? Is it off? My clutch switch on or off? Etc. ECU info. This is where it's going to tell me a little bit more information about the vehicle, what this one actually came out of, what kind of engine ECU it is, what kind of model, serial number, uh, distance traveled, all that information. I'm going over here to activations and activations are where you can run your different commands. Cylinder cutouts, EGR valve tests, uh, variety. The ones that have the question mark next to them, again, when you click it, it'll highlight down here in the bottom right. I can click the button and it'll tell us exactly what's going on with that test and what kind of criteria we need to in order to run it. Let me go back and I'm gonna click over here on settings. And on settings, these are where you can run your different kind of parameter changes. Uh, there's other tests you can run in here. Let's just take a look through here what we have. Um, oh, okay, good, here we go. Web lock. What this web lock symbol means is two things. One, you need to be, you need to fill out a form. And you get this form when we email you your order. So when your order ships, you get an email that has your tracking number on it. It's got a quick start guide on it. And it's got a form that we tell you to fill out. And we also give you the serial number of your tool. And what that form is, it's a release of liability from Texa. They have concerns of you going in here, changing the maximum road speed to say 100 miles an hour. And then the customer goes out there and uh, hits a school bus full of kids. And everybody gets sued, including the guy that, or the, the company that made the tool. So it's a release of liability on their part that they're not going to get sued over situations such as that. So we can't run any of those functions if you try to run them. So let's hit the start button on here. 
This particular computer I'm on, they have not filled out that form. So we're going to get a little error message that says trouble code via web not enabled. So once you have the form filled out, you do have to be on the internet in order to run it. All right. I know people don't like hearing that, but it is what it is. All right. So let's go try to run one of these functions just to play with it here. So let's go to, let's go to cruise control. So cruise control maximum speed and let's hit the start button. And right now it says current value is set for 100 miles an hour. Well, let's change that to 85 miles an hour. So I'll just click on 85, hit confirm. It'll say wait. It says adjustment done, turn key to stop. I hit confirm, turn key to on, I hit confirm, and it's done. So the way we know it's done is I can go right back into here. It says, oh, now your current value is 85 miles per hour. So it's just really that simple to get in to run these commands. The directions are pretty good in there in most spots. Um, and again, all your settings, activations, commands that you can run with Cummins Insight are available for you to run inside of the Texas software. So thank you for watching the video and let us know if you have any questions.